Hello, it's Polish Paul VR. Welcome to my channel. And in this video, I gonna preview Golem, a game that we waiting for since 2015. We gonna talk a bit about it, but before I start, if you like what you see, then please press a like because it does helps the channel a lot. And if you're new to the channel and are not subscribed, then subscribe. It's always better when it's more of us. Okay, first of all, the last official release window is summer 2019. That's what Sony posted on their during the first State of Play event, even though they didn't show any footage of the game on their YouTube channel during the event, they posted that it's coming in summer on their blog. Now, if that's gonna happen or not, I don't know, it might still be delayed again, we don't know with Golem, you never know. During the E3 Upload VR showcase, Perp Games said they're gonna be releasing the game on the disc. Later on, they didn't mention summer at all. So my best guess is it might come this year, but just might not be the summer. In Golem, you play in as a kid who's had an accident and now cannot really move. It's like bed bound, but then discovers one awesome thing. And it's the fact that it can put mask on its face and it can control Golem like creatures. You start you know, off from being able to control only little like golems, but then you can control big 15 feet tall monsters. The team who makes the game is built from the industry veterans, so you've got people who worked on Halo, Infamous and other cool games. They very very experienced team, but because Highwire is a smaller company, I think the delay of golem is because of the so experienced team as well, they obviously want to put out the best game they can. I remember on PlayStation Experience in 2017 they did interview and they said we don't want to talk too much about the game, we want to put our heads down and just work on it. And I think that's why we never hear it much. But not hearing of the game, it doesn't mean at all that they're not making the game. I think it's the opposite. I think they're working on it hard all the time. The future of their company probably depends on this project, so I think they won't be taking it lightly. The game's supposed to came out in March last year as well, they've had release date, it didn't, they posted nice blog and they said they want to take a bit more time because they still got some things to polish and they want to take their time because they're not ready for yet another fucking crunch. Of course, they worked in big companies, they know what crunch is, we read it about it loads of times in various articles, everyone hates it, basically big companies like to use brute force to publish the game on time. But with small studios is different story, so they taking their time, they their own bosses. Plus, happy people work better, so I'm assuming the game gonna get plenty of love from the developers. And I always say I rather wait, even if it's a year long wait, than have the game shipped on time but being shitty. In the end of the day, you only remember good games. Now, I need to touch about the control system, because back in the day when they first talking about it, it was something new and exciting. Those days we've got kind of a standard, Basically, we've got this point to move smooth locomotion system, what everyone seems to be using. And if developers not using it, the gamers getting angry because that's what they want. And how it looks in the game, it's basically you pointing your hand where your character wants to go. So it always looks like your character walks like drunk person on the way back from pub, pointing themselves way home, like, oh, yeah, I go this way. Golem devs went for different locomotion system. They worked on it themselves. They was thinking like, hmm how can we do it? And back in the day they wasn't standard so basically you press a button and then you tilt your body and that's how you walk. Now apparently it's very very easy to use to and apparently it gives you smooth walking and smooth turning with less motion sickness. From what I read about it it seems like it might work just well but I don't know how people will take to it. We're gonna have to wait to the release date. Maybe they got another alternative option as well. But for me it's something I want to try. The combat what I saw on videos definitely looked very very slow so I hope that's gonna get improved but keep in mind some of the videos of Golem are like for five years old. The game got sword combat, you have to block with your sword, you block in, on, in the way of the incoming attacks, so it's not just holding the sword in front of your face, but you have to move it around. Now, it all sounds good and shit, but definitely looked slow on the videos, unless it was just like early levels of the game. The graphics of the game looks beautiful, we saw that little bit of footage in the Perp Games video, when they've been announcing physical release. Of course, with the experienced devs comes good experience in making 
making nice words, the developer saying it's gonna be kind of open world game, so you'll be having like multiple paths to achieve your goal. And to be honest, even though the game is mega delayed all the time, it always sounds good when I hear about it. It looks like they put a lot of thought to every mechanic of the game. Like I said, last no release window is summer 2019, if that's gonna happen or not, I don't know, I still expecting it this year. Let me know in comment section what you think of Golem and that's it, bye.